It's funny to me when Christians leave comments like this, acting like there's some unified theory of salvation in the New Testament, and like there's not 45,000 different Christian denominations because there's no agreement on this. You say, it's so obvious the ceremonial law was abrogated, but I don't think that was obvious to the people in the Bible. Now, most Christians would recognize the fact that if Jesus didn't keep the law of the Old Testament, the Torah, then he himself couldn't have been the spotless sacrifice required to atone for sins. So of course, Jesus kept the law. But what's interesting about that is that his disciples and apostles told us to follow Jesus' example. 1 Peter 2.21 says, To this you were called because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. Not only do many Christians believe that Jesus actually kept the Torah all the way, which he didn't, they also say that it's easier for heaven and earth to pass than for one tittle of the law from the Gospels. In fact, if you look all through the New Testament, and especially in the Acts of the Apostles, you'll see that his 12 disciples didn't get the memo either, and they themselves were also still keeping the law after Jesus died. Here's a verse where the hypocritical false apostle Paul circumcises Timothy. Here's a section in Acts that took place probably 30 years after Jesus would have died and resurrected. And the apostle Peter thought that it was still inappropriate for him, he himself to eat anything impure or unclean. Now he walked around with Jesus and Jesus taught him everything and then Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead and then went up to heaven. So why is Peter still worried about eating unclean food? We see apostles circumcising, eating clean, and keeping the Sabbath and so much more. Gee, I wonder why. This might have something to do with it. Matthew 5, 17 through 19 where Jesus Christ said, Think not that I come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I say to you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Has heaven and earth passed yet? Whosoever therefore shall break one of these commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Hmm. If it was so obvious that the Old Testament laws were abrogated by Jesus Christ himself, then why are there literally millions of Messianic Jewish Christians still keeping the laws to the best of their extent to this day? P.S. I built my ministry doing the same thing for three years. So while it's true, yes, Jesus did actually teach against the Torah, and he himself broke the Torah, and his own existence actually breaks the Torah. That's all true. But according to the narrative of the New Testament Gospel, Jesus kept the Torah, you should follow his example, and his apostles were still keeping it way after he left. The only thing that's so obvious is that you have zero denominational perspective.